In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace, mercy, and peace of our Lord and Savior be with all of you. And with your spirit. Thank you. Good morning and welcome as we gather on this great feast of the Holy Trinity, the triune God of the community of persons, and we are the community of God's people as the church. And so it is our privilege to gather this morning in great praise and thanks to our God. And also on this Memorial Day weekend, we lift up in special prayer, loving memory, all of those who have gifted their lives for the goodness of our land. So let us prepare to celebrate the sacred liturgy. As we acknowledge our sins, let us ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of the Father and the Word of creation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are brother and savior. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you send us the spirit that we may know and follow you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us from our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, highest and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we, glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, 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 O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten God, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. And let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirits of sanctification, made known to the human race your wonder, wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, the Lord possessed me, the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth, at the first before the earth. When there was no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limit, so that the waters should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day. Playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord our God, how wonderful are your name in all the earth. O wonderful, O, o Lord, o Lord our, God, our God, how wonderful, wonderful is your name, name in all, all the, the earth. earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O, o Lord, Lord our, our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful is your name, your name in all, all the, the earth. earth. You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, Lord our, our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful your name in, in all, all the, earth. the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. 
O Lord, Lord our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful your name in all, all the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in hope of the glory of God. <clears throat> Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance. In endurance, proven character, and proven character, hope, and hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he, what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so we began our sacred Eucharist, as always, with a sign of the cross, the sign of the Blessed Trinity, a sign that is so common to, for us as Roman Catholics. First, signing ourselves, or being signed most often, sometimes signing ourselves, but through the waters of baptism, immersed into the life, death, and resurrection of the Lord. A sign of the cross that is so much a part of our, our prayer lives, so much a part of our sacraments, so much a part of, of even as my mother used to teach us, even we pass by a church or a cemetery, we're always making the sign of the cross and offering a little prayer. And so it is a powerful sign of a definition of who our God is and who we are called to be as children, as disciples of the Lord. So the dogma, the definition of the Blessed Trinity, the Holy Trinity, came about through the Council of Nicaea in 325, a long time ago. Not ever to be found at any one particular place in all of Scripture, but in the wholeness of Scripture, to the revelation of our Creator God, the Word made flesh in Jesus Christ as Sanctifier, as Redeemer, and Holy Spirit, the gift of Jesus, an advocate and guide inspiration for us and for the whole church. And so again, not in one particular place is there a definition and a description of the Holy Trinity, but in the church's wisdom and through the guidance of the Spirit to be able to grow that understanding through all the generations, through all of our study and our reflections on sacred scripture. And so we come to the gospel today, and it is the very, very four very short verses that was, took place at the Last Supper Discourse as Jesus was in that upper room. And perhaps in the midst of a, a dim candlelit room and a fire in the hearth, that in the midst of many things that Jesus was saying to those disciples, it is he who said to them, you know, that there, that there are many things that I want to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. 
It's impossible for me to tell you everything right now, but it was also his promise in that same discourse that he would send the Holy Spirit when he physically would no longer be present to the disciples, to the ch earliest church, but that he would send his spirit that would be a pervasive presence for everyone. And that continuing theme of Jesus' promise that I will always, always be with you. And Jesus described the spirit, the Holy Spirit, as the spirit of truth that again would be gradually unfolding that revelation of who our God is and who are, we are called to be, continually to reveal to us this community of persons that we understand to be the Holy Trinity. And it's a community of fellowship, a community of love. And our understanding growing from the Blessed Trinity is not just when we sign, but as a, a continual study in our lives that we continue to become a community of love in all of our relationships in what the church is really all about, what the hope for is for our entire world. And so we, we know that ever since that, that Last Supper of the Disciples and that first Pentecost, that the work of the Holy Spirit has been one of simply continued re revelation and ongoing unfolding of the mystery of who our God is, the wonder of the good news that is Jesus Christ. And it is in time, again, that the Holy Spirit would teach all peoples how to be in that community of God's life and God's love. And perhaps we can reflect on many different experiences we have in the community of our own families, the communities of our caregivers and our friends, the many ways that, that people in our society, even with strangers, reach out in great support and love in the midst of tragedies, but also in just daily living. So many different expressions and witnesses of the reality of the Spirit working in our midst, continually in, in calling us and enabling us to grow a community of love, patterned directly after the community of the Holy Trinity. And so it is this goodness that, that we live each and every day. And trust, as Jesus said in the gospel today, that the work of the Spirit is evidenced in, the faithful, in a faithful guiding presence. Again, as the Lord says, I'm always going to be with you. And the truth is that we truly allow that presence to, to be with us, and even when we're not thinking about it, perhaps even times when we think that God is, has abandoned us with whatever is going on, the truth is God is always with us, always. And we need to live that strength each and every day that is the promise of Jesus that another sign of the work of the Spirit and the truth of that is that the Holy Spirit is a faithful guiding teacher. That common expression and description of Jesus in the Gospels is as rabbi, as in teacher, as in master. And so how we continually allow ourselves to learn the truth, to listen to the truth of who our God is and who we are called to be. The truth that comes to us again in sacred scripture, but also in the great tradition of the, of the church, in the magisterium of the church that continually not only is the holder of that truth, but brings that truth to us that continually can form our lives in the midst of a world and lots of messages that people define what they think is their own truth or their own convenience, whatever it might be, how we make a priority of the truth of the Lord. And know that in the midst of it all, of being, of the Spirit being a, a guiding presence and a guiding teacher is helping us to listen. There's that great wisdom of why God gave us two ears and one mouth, that we continually can listen to the Word of God, listen to His presence each and every day, and witness that presence. And so all the times that we sign ourselves, we're reminded of the power of who our God is, and who we continue to become as the Lord's disciples. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of, of heaven and earth, earth of, of all things, things visible and invisible, and invisible. I believe, I believe in, in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the only begotten Son of God, God born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. 
for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are mindful that God created us to live in harmony with one another, to care for each other, and to pray for each other. And so we offer these our prayers of intercession. For the church throughout the world, for Pope Francis and leaders of faith communities, may they inspire all people in reaching out in those experiencing personal and spiritual struggles in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the newly ordained priests of the Diocese of Madison, Fathers Garrett Cow, Vince Brewer, and Steve Patrika, that God will be with them as they celebrate the mysteries of Christ, proclaim the good news of salvation, and lead the lost from darkness into light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we take time on Memorial Day to remember those men and women who have gifted their lives for our country, may God hold them in the palm of his hand. For military personnel on active duty throughout the world, for those recovering from wounds of war, for all veterans, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the handicapped, disabled, elderly, overlooked, and those ignored or rejected, that they may experience the peace and healing of Christ's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have been so sorely affected by the storms in Oklahoma and other areas this spring, Lord, bring peace and assistance to your people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention of this morning's Mass, Michael Sullivan, May he and all the faithful of our program who have died know the peace and happiness of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions and concerns resting in the quiets of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Creator God, you who formed us and made us, receive these prayers of concern that we present in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. From the mystery of this water and wine, may come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself, to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Thanks, Jeremy. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May this Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord, our God, this oblation of our service 
and by it make us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in the trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person. Their unity is substance, and their equality is ma in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat, eat this bread, bread and drink this, this cup, we, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer to those near us Jesus' word of peace. Peace with you, Linda. Peace with you. Thank you. Peace of Christ be with you, Jeremy. Thank you. And so Christ be with you, Samuel. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us go to bring his love and peace to others this week. Thanks be to God. We thank you for taking time this morning to share in the worship of God in celebration of faith and prayer. This weekly ministry of the Apostolate to the Handicapped in the Diocese of Madison. It is because of the continued generosity of 46 years of WISC TV and its commitment of public service and social concern for the handicapped, elderly, and disabled of all faiths, we are able to bring the television mass to you. We are grateful to the management and staff of Channel 3 who make the Mass one of excellence in production and dignity of worship. I am Linda Fassler, the lector and commentator today. Our acolytes this morning were Jeremy Miller and Samuel Joseph Hughes. We are all members of St. Clair of Assisi Parish in Monroe. We are grateful to share this Mass with our pastor and director of the Apostolate to the Handicapped, Father Larry Bakke. Sister Bernadette Prohaska, FSPA, provided the music ministry, and Nancy Halada interpreted the Mass for the Deaf. We invite you to join us next Sunday morning at 7 a.m. here on Channel 3, when we will celebrate and worship together in this liturgy of hope and inspiration. Until then, make it a beautiful week, and you know the blessing of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.